Hi, this is Neil Waterhouse. Today I want to talk to you about how to build an eBay business while you have a full-time job. I received a letter from Michael Ray. Hi Neil, thank you for sending all the information. My wife and I work full-time, can we still build an eBay business after hours? Well, the answer is definitely yes. Most people who start eBay businesses do start on a part-time basis while they have a full-time job. Today we are really lucky and really blessed to be living in a day and age when we can get so many great resources and tools as I'll show you of how you can build a business while you're at work, how to automate it basically. It doesn't matter whether you're building a dropship business or an import business, doing used items is tougher. Now, and as people who've been around me for a while, they know I don't specialize in doing used items. I prefer the new items, whether it's importing or whether it's drop shipping, because you can buy them once, list them once, photograph them once and just keep selling them over and over and over again. Now, and the beauty of this, if you're doing drop shipping, you can, obviously you don't have to pack your items, you don't have to wrap the items, stack them, warehouse them, etc. For those who don't know what drop shipping is, it simply is you're selling items on eBay that you don't have in your possession. In other words, a store has them, and like an online store has them, you list them on eBay and they sell, you get paid first, and then you order them and then the supplier ships them for you. So that's all done for you. Now, you can tie this up with uh, an overseas staff member, which will cost you less than $2 an hour, who can run the whole show. So when an order comes in, that overseas staff member enters the order in and use a program like Google Docs, which is what we use. Uh, Google Docs is a, is a Google product, it's free. Uh, Google Docs is software, it's like a suite of software like Microsoft Office, if you know what Microsoft Office. So you use like a spreadsheet, and in your browser, on your internet browser, you have a tab for the spreadsheet. So your overseas person enters that data in when orders come in, and you can see it live on yours as well. So you, can, you go into your browser, whether it's you know, using Firefox, Chrome, or whatever, Safari, and you can watch, as they type, it fills it in. So in your Google Docs spreadsheet, you can have the, like the name of the operator, the, the date, the eBay user ID of who ordered the product, how much they paid for it, the supplier name, how much it costs from the supplier, shipping, eBay fees, PayPal fees, etc., and all the way up to an order number, and then a tracking number, and then another column that shows has the tracking been entered in. And that means while you're at work, you can just simply go into Google Docs, yep, it's all been, it's all been done, all populated, and you just keep on working. Now, this costs less than a, a, you know, $2 an hour, and we're paying around $1.44 US an hour for this kind of work to be done. So it makes life really easy. Now, if you're importing, the same deal. You can use what we call 3PL, or third-party logistics companies. A third-party logistics company, you send your goods to them, so if you're an importer, or you buy your goods locally or whatever, you send your goods to the 3PL, they store them, it doesn't cost you much, it normally costs you around know, $2.50 for a pallet per week, it's not a huge cost. And now, and again, when the item sells, you can have an overseas staff member get the information, put it into Google Docs, also send it to the 3PL, and they will pick the item, pack it, post it, ship it, do the whole lot for you, all while you're working. Now, it's, it's very important when you build an eBay business, or really any business, that you build a business to work without you. It's really critical, otherwise you just give yourself a job. So learning to do this while you, you have a job it's actually really good because it's teaching you to make this work without you. Now, one thing I always teach is always put an exit strategy in place from day one. doesn't matter if you build an eBay business or any business. Make sure you have an exit strategy. So if you want to sell it down the line, you can. Now, the bonus of an ex exit strategy is you build a business that works without you. So you can sell it. Because obviously if you try to sell a business and it requires you, you're not getting much money for it. So by building a business, and putting an exit strategy in means that you're building a business to run completely and utterly without you, which is a great thing. So it means you can take time off, you're not just giving yourself a job. Back when we started eBay, back in 1999, and we went full-time in 2005, using virtual assistants, or as they know in the industry, VAs, wasn't done really back in those days. But now, there's so many virtual assistants, places you can find virtual assistants, they're a dime a dozen, so it's very easy. We're very lucky to be living in this day and age. Likewise, 3PLs weren't very well known then. Now, of course, Amazon is a massive 3PL, so you can run a, an eBay business from all over the world, and you can have Amazon shipping your goods out for you as a 3PL, plus there's many other 3PLs out there as well. Also, you know, some people say to me, do I, how often do I need to go to China if I want to import? 
Well, you don't. I used to go to China all the time. Now I very, very rarely go. Why? Because we can do it online. Like, as an example, one of the ones I went to is, uh, stands out, Global Sources. They have over 4,000 booths. Now, each booth is between six to 10 feet long. So if you can imagine walking through 4,000 booths, now it took me three days and a pair of sand shoes to do it. And by the time you get on the plane, you, you, your mind is just completely bamboozled. You know, I don't know about you, but if I, if I go looking at say real estate and I look at say six houses, by the time I come home, I can't picture which bathroom and which kitchen was in which house because my mind's confused. Now, when you go to China, you have a similar problem. You only have half the equation. To work out if a, if a product is good, you've got to know a couple of things. One, velocity. How often is this product selling? Two, how much is it selling for on average? And then you can get the cost price from the supplier to work out your profit. Now the problem is when you're in China, you don't have all those figures on hand. You see an, an item, item it's, I don't know, it's a green frog, you know, it's a foot long, you know, and, the, and you haggle with the supplier, it's $10 US as an example. Well, so what? How much are they selling for on eBay? Now, trying to go there and getting bandwidth and trying to log on and do your research while you're in China is pretty challenging because there's, this place is full and everyone else is challenging to get, try and get some bandwidth in there as well. Likewise, you don't know the velocity. So you need to know these, this information. But now, in today's day and age, you can use sources like you know, Global Sources, Alibaba, etc., to find products and do your research while you're sitting at home. And then, better still, learn how to do it, outsource it to somebody overseas for less than two bucks an hour and get them to do it for you. So the moral of the story is you can certainly build an eBay business while you have a full-time job. And it'll teach you a lot of things about how to make this business work without you. That's all I've got for you this week. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Please leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, where you're up to. Please uh, hit the share button below and, and give me a share. If you've seen this video anywhere else besides my blog, please come over to my blog, neilwaterhouse.com. It's where all the goodies are, it's where all the action is. Have a great week, guys. This is Neil Waterhouse. List more, sell more.